How's it going, Charles Bodenston? Hello, YouTube. Charles Bodenston here. Today we have a question that came from iCharles.com, the contact form. Uh, I've been emailing back and forth with this guy, Chris. Good guy. And uh, pretty much just shot it out to him and pretty much anyone that's watching this that you guys are the ones that direct this YouTube channel. You guys are the ones that talk about the topics. You ask the questions. So I said, hey, listen, man, you know, is there anything that you want me to talk about? And he said, yeah, actually, there's two things. So this is one of the biggest things, you know, how do you know that it's actually a two part question, which is how do you find what you like and how do you know that you like it? OK, or how do you know you're going to like it, which is a totally different question. How do you know you're going to like it? All right. So uh, this is very personal because I didn't know what I wanted to do until 24, 25. It literally took me 24, 25 years. So the good thing about the internet is that you can look up anything. You could look up on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, YouTube, Wikipedia, Google, whatever. All these resources, you can find out exactly what you like, exactly what you want. The problem with that is that you don't try it. You just look it up. So with me, the problem was I couldn't look anything up because I didn't, the internet wasn't what it is today, when I, 2006, 2005, you know, it, like, it, it was nowhere near where it was today. So I had to just go and do it. So I literally grew up and they're like, you should go to school. I'm like, okay, I'll go to school. They're like, you should go to college. I'm like, okay, I guess I'll go to college. Then, then I'm like, I guess I'll go into finance because my sister, my brother, and my dad are in finance. I'm like, it's just in our family. I'm like, this is what I need to do. So this is the difference is that I went into it thinking I was going to like it. I didn't look it up. I didn't Google it. I didn't look, I'd go to YouTube and, and Wikipedia. I didn't, nothing. I literally just went into it. That is the difference. You have to try it. So this is also a good thing is like I was saying before is the internet wasn't as robust as it is today. So I literally had to try everything. I was a caddy. I did door to door sales. I was in engineering. I had a small business when I was younger. Um, I literally marketing, uh, waitered, uh, mowed lawns, landscaped. I bought things on eBay and resold them. I literally did everything everything so when someone says oh would it, it, like literally the resume I'm like what should I put on there I did up until 24 age 24 I literally did a dozen different jobs so when someone says how do I know what I'm gonna like I don't know I don't know what you're gonna like I can't tell you like if my dad told me you should get into finance that's the biggest thing is that I live in New York City I literally look around and there's probably just Hundreds of thousands of people that just are literally lost. They don't know what to do. They don't know if the light, that's what I felt at Oppenheimer Funds. That was the financial company that I, I went into after college. I'm like, this is, my family went into it. I, I, my dad said I should get into this, so I got into it. You know, But the, the difference is, up until that point, if I didn't try all those jobs, those dozen jobs before that I was just talking about, then I wouldn't know that I didn't like it. I would have just been like, oh, okay, because there's things that I liked. I liked caddying. I liked the door-to-door -door sales. I liked uh, internet marketing and things like that. What I didn't like was um, engineering. I didn't like finance that much. I didn't like nine to five. It, I didn't like uh, a couple of the other jobs that I had, landscaping, things like that. But what I'm trying to get to is that I knew I didn't like finance because I had it. I had something to compare it to. This is the problem is that people get into their job and they think this is the only thing. This is just how it is. I just don't like it, but it pays well or it just pays the bills until I go on a vacation or until it's the weekend or until I get married or until I have kids. So they think that this is how it is. That is the good thing about my life is that I tried all these different things. I hated a lot of it. But the thing is, I had a comparison. If you don't have a comparison, there's no light without darkness. There's no good without bad. There's no up without down. So when you say, I don't like this, that means you you know something that you actually do like. And if you go through a slew of things, say 12 things, jobs or relationships or whatever or homes or areas you know I, I know this girl that she just kept on hopping around and there's that famous saying wherever you are there you go or um, wherever you are or wherever you go there you are wherever you go there you are if you're negative you're gonna be negative in Hawaii 
or on an island in the in a tropical island of whatever, Bermuda. It's like wherever you go, there you are. So this girl thinks that I, I was dating her. She just like literally hopped around cities thinking that it was the city that was going to make her happy. No, 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 no. You need to find out what's wrong inside that you've been to Miami, Chicago, LA, New York. You've been to a couple other small cities like Denver, you know, San Francisco, you know, whatever the other cities. It's the same thing with jobs is that you have to try the jobs. You can't just look it up. It's the same thing with anything. You have to, this is really going to get me really fired up because people say, you know, and it's not Chris, it's not you, man, who sent in the email, but it's with anything. You know, it's like, how do I know I'm going to like this sport? How do I know I'm going to like this job? How am I going to, you have to try it. It's the same thing with the relationships. How am I going to know that I like an athlete or someone that's intelligent or someone that likes sitting down and watching TV or someone that just drinks too much, whatever, you know, like whatever they're into, you know, like it's funny too, because if you literally took a snapshot of everyone's dating past, it's really close. You know, if you have the bell curve, most of the people are right there in the middle. They're right there in the middle. They're not on the outside. It's not like I dated a musician and then I dated a librarian. I dated a hockey player and then I dated uh, a, a scientist who didn't really talk. It's like, no, you, you dated, you really like athletes or you really like bikers or you really like musicians or you really like intelligent people or you really like people that are outgoing or that party or whatever or that do drugs, bad things. Like I like alcoholics or people that beat me or the, you know, it's like your relationships are consistent. But the thing is, you don't know what you like. This isn't anything. This isn't life. This isn't, this could be even fashion or relation. Like I already said, relationships, jobs. You have to try it. You have nothing. You have no, you have no comparison. You have no, no contrast. I, are you kidding me? I was an engineer, which is sitting at a computer desk. And then another job I had, I was mowing lawns and landscaping. I think that's a pretty big comparison. I did online an online business sitting in front of a computer. And then I also did door-to-door sales, which is totally different. I also was a caddy and a waiter, which is sort of similar. Because you're in sales, you're dealing with people. So that was the biggest thing is that how did I find out that I knew I was going to like real estate because it was I was independent. I didn't like listening to people. I was talking to people. I didn't like listening to managers and, and owners and, and bosses and things like that. I didn't like, I still don't, like authority. I don't like listening to authority, but I like people. I like interacting with people. I like sales. I like marketing. I like the, I like how there's unlimited amount of money I can make. You know, it's, it's one of those things that other people, and by the way, this is not you. Me is not you. You do you. You do you. I I can't stress that enough. Like people are like, I'm just going to be you. Or I'm just going to be Gary Vaynerchuk or Tony Robbins or someone, someone else they look up to. You know, it's like, no, dude, you do you. So what does that mean? Someone that is fifth in command at Facebook is making millions of dollars, but they're being told what to do. Or the 20th in command at Facebook is still making a few hundred thousand dollars and they're being told what to do, but they're really not. So that's the biggest thing is that there's people that need a little bit of direction. There's, a, there's people that need a lot of direction and everything that they do is being told you need to do this at this time. And if you don't do it, you're fired. Those people make the least amount of money. The people that make medium amounts of money, those are the people that mod- literally the scale of income is everything you do is based on a rigid structure of rules. And then the people who make the most of money, most amount of money, there's no rules because you can do whatever you want. You're an entrepreneur. The, the sky's the limit. You put the limit on yourself. You know, any of the guys that, that invented any of the websites, apps, whatever. Those are entrepreneurs. Anyone that started a business, Steve Jobs, Zuckerberg, you know, Elon Musk, all these billionaires, Bronson, you know, all these guys, they started their business, which means is they made the direction. So I know I just got on a tangent. I know it's just under 10 minutes, but in order to find out what you should do, you have to try a fuck ton of things. Okay. It's the only way to do it. You can't look it up online and think, I may like this. I may, I may, I may like this job selling pizza. 
And this is another thing is that you have to shelve your ego. I'm too good for this. Uh, uh, this is this is above me. I gotta tell you, I had the best time. I was 22. I had the best time waitering because the people around me, they're fun as hell. And then I was like, okay, I gotta get a real job. <laughs> I gotta I gotta start making some money. And then I got into Oppenheimer funds. I hated it. I had the balls to leave and uh, and volunteer to be laid off, which that's a whole nother story. And then I got into real estate and I never looked back. It was just how did I know I liked it? Because I tried it. So that's the biggest, that's the longest winded response to literally just say, the only way to find out what you want to do in life is you have to try it. And that's with anything. Relationships. Uh, people that you hang out with. You know? So... Anyway, you guys are the ones that make the channel alive. I really thank you guys so much. Um, leave comments below on where any questions you want me to answer. And uh, Chris, thanks for the uh, question. Subscribe if you haven't. All the social links are below. I'm crushing Snapchat, man. I freaking love that app. I'm making some funny, funny jokes on there. Have an awesome day. Live with passion and try everything. You need to try. Have no regret. Have an awesome day.